dolphins to feed the dolphins. And if you're called feed the dolphins, face impossible. people we're back with another video and today we will be going to a dolphin tour so stay tuned to the whole video and i just want to say thank you to everyone who been subscribing to my channel and thank you so much for all the support you have been giving me and it means a lot to me so i just want to say thank you so much for everything you have done with me. Anybody should need life jackets, they're underneath the back right bench. Now to put these on, we're going to unbuckle the first woman after you. You do not have to be the fastest, but you do need to be faster than that person next to you in the water. Now throughout the trip, you are free to move about the boat. Now, a good rule of thumb for any boat is to always have one hand for yourself, one hand for the boat at all times. If you're behind the yellow line in the back of the boat, we ask you to be sitting or kneeling on the benches. Standing on the deck is perfectly all right. Just not on the benches in the back, it's too easy to fall out. If you do have the little ones in the back, just make sure their waist doesn't come up above the top of the white gunnel. Now we do have some drinks for sale in the white cooler behind the engine compartment. Everything in the cooler is $2. You can help yourself to it. We can just settle up at the end of the tour. Now, once we get past these docks that are on the right-hand side of the boat, then out of the no-wake zone, we're going to pick up a little bit of speed. We're going to turn on some air conditioning for everyone. If you do have a hat on, make sure you keep a grip on it. Because if it blows, it goes. We cannot turn around and go get it. So far this season, we have lost 238 hats in three two bays, and we do not go back for them. Uh, Y'all will begin our journey in just a few moments. Now, throughout the trip, I will use the boat like a clock. So 12 o'clock off the front, 6 o'clock off the back. The left side will be 9 and the right side will be 3. 
Uh, they're coming out of Lazaretto Creek. We're going to have the Atlantic Ocean. That is straight in front of us. The Cotsboro Island Lighthouse is to our left. And on the right-hand side of the boat, everything on the right-hand side will be Tabi Island. We all sit back and enjoy the scenery, and we'll see what we can find. Long they truly can. 
But they cannot stay down forever. They do have to eventually come back up to take a breath of air. They are mammals, so one of the characteristics of a mammal is that great there. Over on our right side now at our one o'clock. Around the right side of the boat at our one o'clock again. Now what's taking place over there at our one o'clock is what we like to call extinction prevention. I'll let you guys figure that out. It is a G-rated cruise. Now the mother will give birth to one baby at a time. She does not have multiples. She's going to have one calf every five or six years. She will give birth, stay out of harm's way. And then as the year progresses, the baby will gradually start to change to the darker gray color. And all the no share, all the, all the responsibilities of raising the baby for about six years. And after those six years are over, they will all split up and very seldom out in the wild will they ever reconnect with one of them. Is anyone on that side? It's 9 o'clock now. They're coming around. Yeah, they're coming around. They're coming around. Okay. This population will balloon to almost 250 to 300 dolphins just in this little area. Coming down the back left of the... Fine. If you're caught feeding the dolphins from your boat, they will confiscate your boat as well. 
they take it pretty seriously. Don't look in the corpus. The tennis come on. 